August 2nd, 1973. NASA's Skylab space station orbits 270 miles above the Earth. At 6.37 a.m., Garriott and Lausma are completing their scheduled tasks when they notice something fly past the window. Garriott and Lausma are utterly amazed to see snow flakes drifting past the window in outer space. You're up in space. It's basically a vacuum, so there are no clouds, there's no moisture, there's no anything out there. There is no weather in space. The crew asks Mission Control to run diagnostics on Skylab to check for damage. They trace the fault to the fuel system of the Apollo spacecraft attached to Skylab. What Mission Control discovered pretty quickly was that there was fuel leaking out from one of the thruster units on their Apollo spacecraft, their transport craft, the one they needed to get back to Earth safely in. NASA engineers formulate a plan to send two backup pilots up to the space station in a modified Apollo craft. The rescue plan involved taking the Apollo for the next visit to the space station, the stripping out equipment and supplies for a, a space station mission, and instead putting in three extra seats for the rescued crew. Just days before the rescue mission is scheduled to launch, engineers learn that the defective Skylab capsule might still be able to bring the astronauts home. They discover a way to re-enter Earth's atmosphere utilizing a different set of thrusters on the command module. At that point, the need for the rescue mission went away. On August 14th, NASA aborts the rescue mission. Mission Control instructs Skylab pilot Jack Lausma to attempt a risky manual return to Earth using just two of his four thrusters. This is unprecedented in space travel. It might not even be possible, but NASA has to try. Okay, we're free. At 10.07 a.m. on September 25th, the three astronauts depart the space station in their wounded craft. Mission Control can only wait as the capsule slams into Earth's atmosphere at over 15,000 miles per hour. The exterior of the craft heats up to over 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, creating a layer of plasma that blocks out all communications to the crew. Fifteen minutes later, the module splashes down off the coast of Mexico. Rescue teams reach the capsule and recover the astronauts, all unharmed by their ordeal.